we generally use is called finite element analysis, which uh, is what you do is you take the structure you're interested in looking at what it will do and you split it up into little small blocks between and blocks and provided you get the geometry right you have enough blocks and you give it a good uh, materials model it will be very similar to the real thing so and it's only two dimensional the model because the whole thing's symmetrical so we can simplify it down just into that so what we've got there is, you see the dome here, um, and this has got the triangular strut, the stiffened dome that, that we were looking at in the presentation. We apply a force to the voice coil, and then the dome moves in sympathy to that force. And we solve it at loads of different input frequencies. But we're not really that interested in the dome motion on its own. What we want to know is then what happens to the air in front of the dome and behind the dome. Apart from being able to generate these sort of images, that actually behaves like a, a solid model. So I can assign materials to these um, parts, I can tell you how heavy they're going to be, um, I can see where they're going to interfere and this sort of thing. So. Again, we can check a lot on the screen, and since we've been using this this um, technology, we've had very few uh, tool modifications and this sort of thing. Because not only can we check on screen, but we can also get um, these prototype parts very quickly. So when Jack's finished doing um, his drive unit design, this sort of thing, we finished doing the mechanical design. We can get these these functional parts within three to four days, and these things, you know, they work. They work like uh, proper parts. So from